How's everyone doing today? It is the Naughty Investor. Hope you're all doing well. So, Ethereum Casper. Ethereum Casper. What is this and why should you care? Well, if you own Ethereum, you should definitely care. If you don't own any Ethereum, well, you might still find it interesting. So, basically, I'm going to go into the article. This was I, I, I searched the web for a good article to read to you guys. And this was one I liked the most, but before I get into the article, I'm going to, with my words, explain to you what Ethereum Casper is as briefly as possible. I want to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point. Ethereum Casper will basically be switching Ethereum from proof of work to proof of stake. So instead of you having to dedicate mining power, and or computer power rather, Instead of you having to do that, you will become a validator by staking up Ether, if that makes sense. And I'm going to go more into detail with the article, but basically that's the that's the summary of it. Proof of work, now becoming proof of stake with Ethereum. And if you're wondering, well, what are the benefits for this? The main benefit I feel is it will reduce electricity consumption. It will... And that, in return, will make people more likely to use the Ethereum network and become validators on the Ethereum network. So, let's get into the article. Ethereum developers have launched a alpha testnet for Casper, paving the way for the cryptocurrency to eventually transition to proof-of-stake consensus algorithm. Like Bitcoin, Ethereum currently operates in a proof-of-work alg algorithm, meaning that the network is, is secured and new currency units are issued through mining, whereby participants solve cryptographic puzzles to validate transactions and create new blocks. However, Proof of work has attracted criticism over the years, both for its tendency to centralize mining hardware into the fuel pools and for the amount of electricity it consumes. Ethereum to implement proof of stake. Ethereum aims to address these problems by transitioning to Casper, a proof of stake consensus algorithm. Under Casper, participants can become validators by locking up or staking Ether. Validators will take turns proposing and voting on new blocks, and both the weight of their votes and the size of their rewards will hinge on the size of their stakes. According to the developers, moving to Caspo, Caspo? Casper will greatly reduce the amount of electricity wasted through proof-of-work mining. In addition, limiting it, its uh, in addition to limiting its environmental impact, proof of stake will allow Ethereum to dramatically reduce its, its rate of currency inflation since validators will have much lower overhead and will thus require smaller rewards to incentivize them to continue to serve as validators. Moreover, proof of stake will also reduce the incentive that, val that validators have to centralize their influence. With Decreased centralization comes increased security and, importantly, resisted to dreaded 51% attacks. Ethereum is not the first project to attempt to integrate POS, consensus algorithm. However, most previous POS implementations have been criticized because in the event of a blockchain split, basically validators are incentivized to make blocks on top of every chain. Now, Casper is going to stop this because, as you can see in the article, they are basically going to impose economic penalties on malicious validators that violate the network protocols and the network rules. So, here's... We like Buderin, and this is his validator. And here's he he posted this on Twitter. Here's my validator earning equivalent of eight percent interest per day. Conditions not indicative of likely parameters for LiveNet. Um, so that's him. That's Ethereum's creator on uh, on Twitter. If you want to follow him, you can. So Ethereum is going to be switching to proof of stake, which some people don't like, but um. It's happening. It, it will be happening. The test net is already, you know, created. And yeah, what do you guys think about this? If do you think this is a good idea because of the increased energy efficiency, or do you think that this is unnecessary? What are your thoughts on that? I want to hear them below in the comment section. Also, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy learning about cryptocurrency, make sure you subscribe to my channel and also share the video. Share it with your friends, your family, everyone you know, because 
Why not? Why shouldn't your grandmother know that Ethereum is switching to Casper, which is going to turn it from proof of work to proof of stake? Why shouldn't your grandma know that? Have a great day, guys. Peace out.